So hello everyone. Welcome to the show interview with founders and not influencers. Today we have with us Ms. Kanak Parihar. Kanak is the founder of the company Viz Growth. So welcome to the show, Ms. Kanak. Thank you, Kinshu, for inviting me for on the Swat podcast. Yes. Yeah, so how are you? I'm perfectly fine. What about you? Yeah, I'm fine. So let's start the interview. So Kanak, can you tell us about what your company is all about? Like what it does? Uh, so basically, why I started uh, with growth is to just to help the founders and the coaches in crafting and enhancing their personal brand because nowadays personal brand is something that every founder or coaches need. So just to assist them in building the uh, personal brand and also we help the students in landing their jobs through LinkedIn. Yeah, that's main good. objective is us to help them to uh, get the advantage of LinkedIn and, uh, and not only on LinkedIn we also help the founders in uh, like uh, YouTube and Instagram also and also we used to help them through Twitter to yeah, get the leads to help to expand their businesses yeah I'm sure it's very good idea that you are working on so Kanak how do you see success means what is success according to you for your company uh, just like the success according to me is just to put a positive impact on the clients like if uh, any client is connecting with us so they can get at least good number of leads their business should make a good number of value to their audiences plus like uh, we can well, the main reason the main thing is that if we want to like the students or the coaches their visibility should be more to in the market they can grow, they can improve, more opportunities they can get with the help of me. Yeah. So, Kanak, what is the biggest risk that you have taken till now? Like, uh, I was work like, for past three years, I was doing nine to five job. I was having a security, like, uh, stability of income, like, every month I was creating the uh, amount but when i quit my job it was literally little bit risky for me because i was having a responsibility of my parents on me so it was literally a very hard decision for me to quit my nine to five job and to start my own venture because in the starting we are not getting that many clients now so yeah. that was something very risky for me yeah i can understand that so can i commit what is your greatest achievement till now the Greatest achievement for me till now is that ki I've been able to guide 50 plus students and I've also assisted 10 plus founders and coaches uh, during this time. And they have been literally been uh, get so like many coaches have get so many clients and their visibility has also been grown so much. Yeah, that's nice thing. So Kanak, what do you think? What is the important quality that every founder should have? The biggest quality that every founder should have is the resilience because we know that building a startup is really not that easy thing we have. There are many more competitors in the market. So we just have to be little consistent. We have to be little resilient so that uh, if we are facing any uh, like criticism or like our business is not doing, we don't have to lose the hope. We have we need to maintain that patience that yeah, it's okay. Like if it is not working in the initial days, we have to keep putting the value and later in the later age, it's going to boom and we are going to get like it's going to expand and we are going to get the success. Yeah. So uh, connect means how do you see your journey means from the beginning till now? How do you see it? Like uh, about me, like in during the starting days of my startup, it was really not easy for me to get the clients. It was like I was thinking that I should not do like it's not for me. It's not uh, startup is not meant for me. I should go back to nine to five job. But yeah, like it took around three to four months for me to get good numbers of clients. So now I'm very happy because I've been able to add value to my community. They are getting a good number of responses. Uh, like uh, if I uh, through my guidance and all. So a positive impact has been there on my community. So I'm happy with like whatever I did till now. Yeah, it's nice actually. So, Kanak means any important tips that you want to give to the young entrepreneurs? The new entrepreneurs, I want to give that key. Nowadays, people are like, there is a hype that key 
startups or the uh, entrepreneurship is the only way to get the success but that is really not true because everything is not meant for everyone the you we can you can't fit in everyone like in all the shoes entrepreneurship can't be uh, do with like we can't do that with the entrepreneurship we need to be very realistic whenever we want to choose a entrepreneurship because there we need it's not like 9 to 5 ki we just have fixed number of hours we have sometimes we have to do 12 to 14 hours of uh, on weekdays or even on weekends also we have to do 12 to 14 hours work so we have to be very and second thing you have to be very patient because if you are not patient and you are thinking that ki you can get uh, so much of income like you will be getting dollars millions of dollars just in single month no that can't be possible you have to be uh, like uh, around 3 to 4 years you need to grind then only you are going to get that number of amount in your bank so thirdly you just have to uh, make sure that ki you are not uh, like if you are putting your 9 to 5 job you need to know that you are having that support you are you should not be dependent on your parents just if you uh, independent then only you should go for entrepreneurship yeah nice actually uh, since correct you are building a startup so what was your inspiration my inspiration was like uh, during Uh, I can say a uh, year back I was working with one of the coaches. Like I was doing the freelancing, so I was working with one of the founder. He's a finance uh, influencer, and he's also having his own startup. So uh, from him, I just got this inspiration. Like he was also helping the uh, college students to getting jobs or getting placed. So, so I just thought that ki why should I not also help them? Like if I'm also having that quality in me to help the college students or the business coaches. So I should also start my own venture. So it yeah. was the inspiration for me. Yeah, that is actually. Okay, Kanak. Now it's time for the game. So I will tell you a dialogue in English, and you have to guess the movie name. Okay. Sure, I will do that. Okay. So first dialogue is, "I am my favorite." I am my favorite. Um. I guess it's the movie of Karina yeah. and Shahid. Jab yeah. we met. Yeah, it's correct. Actually, okay. it's a dialogue from Jab we met. Okay, so second one is I come in the heart, not in the mind. Okay. Um. I guess I've seen like um. I guess it's a Salman like kick. Yeah, it's correct. Actually, it's a dialogue from kick movie. Okay, so I don't understand. 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 Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Okay, so third dialogue now. Violence, violence, violence. I don't like it. I avoid, but violence likes me. It's it's little difficult for me. Uh, yeah. because I can bo- um watch this, but I have heard the dialogue. Just give me a few minutes. I need to think yeah. about it. I guess it's a South Indian movie, na? No? Yeah. Feel like it. It's KGM Chapter Two. KGF Chapter Two, yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. So uh, I think uh, if we try more movie name, but I guess you don't watch movies, many movies. No, I don't watch movies. It's like I used to see the clips or something that, but I usually don't watch the movies much. Yeah, not even animated. I've seen Shizu me. Last time I watched Street of Fire. Yeah, I haven't watched that one. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Know. Like, <laughs> Sorry. It's like it's like uh, when we work a lot and we need a break from the work, then we basically watch movies. Yeah, like it helps us. I used to take the break now. I used to watch the podcast. Okay. Like it's since child. Uh, like it's from. school only i don't used to watch movies a lot 
Okay, so what's your like? Uh, what do you watch most? Sorry, what I watch? Means a uh, TV series or shows? I told you know that I used to watch the podcast. Okay, so do you like reading books? Yeah, I love reading books. Like in my spare time or when I'm traveling, now I usually use to read the books. Okay, so what's your favorite book? All time favorite do epic shit. Of <laughs> yeah, I remember that one. <laughs> that is my all time so, favorite. Yeah. So, any book that you want to refer to the founders? Mm. Mm. There are actually many books that we can read as a founder. But uh, I just have to think, like, which is my f like you can go with Rich Dad Poor Dad, also, like, it's also a book, like, everyone can read that book, and it's going yeah. to benefit everyone, not only for founders, but for everyone. Yeah. So, Kanak, it was nice having you on our show. Thank you for giving us your time. And I'm so thankful to you, Kinshu, that you gave me an invitation for this. I'm really very really thankful for you and Shekhar. Thank you for coming here. Thank you. Nice connecting with you. Have a great day. Have a nice day.